ultimately, if every car was talking to each other, you wouldn't need stop signs or stoplights at all, right? I mean, that would be that would be kind of an end state, and the traffic flow would be incredibly smooth. No traffic jams. Like I said, you would you wouldn't need roundabouts. You wouldn't need lights. It's one thing to have the technology, it's another to be able to make the transition into automotive grade, right? And that's what we've always tried hard to do, is to be that bridge between the tech sector and the automotive world. We've got a lot of the technologies that we think are either showing up or will show up in cars very, very soon. But the main thing we're showing is right behind us here. Automated driving, level four, level five. The idea is that we're creating a platform, partnership with Mobileye, we call it a CSLP, Centralized Sensing Localization, and planning module. So a significant amount of computational power and algorithm centrally, and then a suite of about 25 sensors, combination of vision, LIDAR, and radar sensors on the vehicle, provide a turnkey system by 2019 that's automotive grade, production ready, for car companies or any other constituent that wants to take automated driving to the roads. So this is a electromechanical LIDAR. So 120 degrees here, on each corner, you integrate all that together, you get 360. You got some overlap, but you get 360 degrees of coverage. So that signpost, you couldn't tell if it was a pedestrian or not, now you know it's a pedestrian. Might walk off, or it's a signpost, you don't care about it. When you classify something, you're very, very sure what it is, that you don't miss anything, and you're also sure that you don't get a false negative. Right. So you see the blue line in the center of the road. So think about the path planning here. So part, part of what the sensor suite does is it's evaluating the scenario all around the car and far forward of the vehicle. You think about all of the different options you think about as a human being, there's, there's 50 or 60 different paths that this car could take from this point forward, right? Given this, given the situations that it's, that it's presented with. So you're constantly calculating all those paths so that if something happens or a pedestrian walks off the curb or somebody switches lanes in front of you or any number of things happen, you've already calculated the path and the car can take instant action as opposed to taking the calculation time as a, as a barrier to whatever action that, uh, that, you, that might be the most appropriate for you to take. Ride sharing and mobility on demand, we think have pulled this forward so in four or five years, it'll legitimately gonna be on the road in various places around the world and so yes, we have, we have moved very quickly to form this CSLP to be a turnkey system. So those that need help getting there, don't have the time or the money or the resources to get there, this will be a system they can use and they can spend their time, money and resources figuring out how to differentiate their, their product based not having to create the technology in the first place.